All right, everyone. It's Jake here from Jake and Dar. So, here you go. Here now is this homemade cranberry wine, cranberry wine that I had put together uh, approximately two weeks ago. It's actually been 13 days now. I don't think you can see the sediment, but anyways. I put that together, or I put it on fermentation two weeks ago, and now I'm going to attempt to filter it and transfer it. You'll have to bear with me here because I've been I've been really busy so I I haven't really had much of a chance to go out and um, find the best or a good way and a cheap way to do filtering. Uh, last year I did or I did it about a year ago and I think I used the I think I used my permanent coffee filter with something else whatever it was I don't know. Uh, so the idea of making you know cheap homemade wine, you know, is to try to keep it cheap in all areas, right? So, so pretty, pretty much, you know, I went out and I, I grabbed some of these coffee, coffee filters. I was going to try a coffee filter from, it's from the dollar store, right? But uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I also, what I also went out and I grabbed for a couple of dollars was this here. This is, um, some of you know what that is. It's cheesecloth. Well, I guess I've never used it before, so I guess you got to maybe double it up or triple it up or quadruple it up or whatever. So, yeah, that's it there, huh? The old cheesecloth, huh? I'm gonna give that a go. <laughs> See how it works out. Uh, I think what I did last time was I just used my permanent coffee filter, and what I did was I poured it into the transfer jug, and I was just very careful. I poured it very slowly, and I stopped just as the sediment was sort of getting to the edge. And, and that's basically as far as I went with the transferring of that. So, and I didn't have a chance to go out and look for wine bottles. I wanted to put it, I wanted to put it into some regular wine bottles. Uh, this is about five and a half to six liters altogether, so I would have needed, I don't know, six or seven or eight wine bottles. Probably eight just to be on the safe side. Um, so I'm going to have to transfer from here to here, clean that out, transfer from here to here. You know, kind of like a little puzzle. <laughs> sort of thing. Uh, what I've done is I've taken my my oxysan, what oxysan I've got there, made a little bit up in this uh, spray bottle, and I have sanitized. I have rinsed with hot water. We're at very hot water, and I sanitized this here permanent coffee filter. It's one of those single cup coffee filters that you can buy. Sanitize that, and I sanitize a funnel. So. I'm going to gear up a, a filtering system, a cheap filtering system, so I can run it through into this bottle. <laughs> All right. So this is what I rigged up. Well, I don't know how well you can see that. But what I've got is some cheesecloth between the coffee filter and the permanent filter. And then I've got some cheesecloth underneath the filter, between the filter and the funnel. <laughs> so it's like a three filtering system. So basically, I'm going to give it a go. I, I gave it a little test run. I poured a bit of wine in. Here we go. And it went through pretty good, so what the hell? Let's go. Let's go for it. Or do you think I should put more filth, more gauze in? <laughs> it goes down pretty fast, so... Fill this thing up. Well... well maybe not, I don't know. Might filter it pretty good. Does that ever smell good? It's gonna take a little while, I mean, to get this filled up. It's probably gonna take about 10 minutes or more. So, I'll keep going at that and I'll get back to you. Yeah. Well, as things would go, I suppose, I gave up on the cheesecloth because it starts running fast at first and then it just sort of slows right down and dribbles. I don't want to stand here for half an hour doing this. So, I think the idea behind it all is to have is to have a um, much wider area of, uh, of straining. And that's, that's probably the best idea. So that one is strained through. That's fairly clear. It's 
fair, it's somewhat clear, not not super clear, but hey, what not? What the heck, eh? So now I gotta rinse this this jug out. There's the sludge in the bottom. Yeah, yeah. You wanna drink that? Okay, be back in a sec. Yeah. So here we go. Eat. I went and took all the stuff and sanitized it again. It's the second bottle, and here we go. I don't, uh, I don't use my auto siphon for this. My right, for the homemade beer, for the home brew, I don't. Uh, they recommend you not really to use to cross the uh, cross use the uh, equipment between beer and wine. Some people probably do, but. So far, I just sort of stuck with the recommendation not to. Anyways, I got one one uh, layer of cheesecloth between the uh, permanent coffee filter here. Seems to be running through pretty good now. When I had three layers <laughs> set up, it, it, it just ran for a second and then it just slowed right down to dribble. And I said, well, I'm not going to stand here for half an hour holding this bottle up in the air. <laughs> Break that. It's probably not going to stay there. It probably won't stay there. It might not stay there. It won't stay there. Good enough. Uh, this is the sanitized one. There you go. Now have a look at that. There you go, love. Not bad looking. Okay. Alright, I'll get geared up to have a little sip, a little taste, and uh, I'll be right back.